Well, we are digging deeper tonight into the trail of terror blazed by alleged serial rapist Kevin Bennett. Police say his crimes may have extended into at least eight other states. Alexandria Hoff is live with the very latest on the investigation. Alex. Over a month before seven Philadelphia area women were stalked, three of them raped, and one assaulted, we learned that a man matching the description of 28 year old Kevin Bennett was put on the FBI's radar. It's a brutal crime that we want you to know about tonight. On April 6th, the Tennessee woman was followed home from a Nashville strip club. She was assaulted uh, with a handgun, uh, struck over the head, uh, and, and then brutally. Raped multiple times. Police in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, realized that this crime matched another rape that had taken place in Indiana the same week. According to court documents, an Indianapolis woman described being followed home from an adult club by a man who struck her over the head with a pistol before sexually assaulting her. But there was more. Investigators say the man was involved in a grab and run theft. Tennessee police linked their suspect to several out of state retail robberies, one on April 5th in Mississippi, plus additional crimes in Louisiana and Alabama and possibly Georgia and Florida. At that point, Mount Julia police called in the feds. It was obvious that there was a suspect out there, a dangerous suspect out there, uh, targeting jewelry stores, but also targeting women who worked at adult clubs. That same pattern then surfaced in Philadelphia from May 15th to the 18th when seven women, most of whom worked in local strip clubs, were preyed on by a man identified as Bennett by Philadelphia authorities. Bennett was taken into custody in Indianapolis Saturday. He was arrested in possession of two firearms. That plus narcotics and jewelry that had gone missing from the Mississippi store, according to the FBI. Bennett now faces federal gun and drug charges. Local rape and stalking charges await his extradition. It's an alleged month and a half long spree that may not have ended without the brave victims coming forward. Philadelphia and the surrounding counties are safer today thanks to their remarkable courage and the exceptional work of law enforcement. Anybody else who feels like they may have been victimized by Bennett or asked to call police. Reporting live tonight, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you. Well